Hey everyone, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more AFL 23 here today on the channel. We're back with Season 2, Episode 7 of my Brisbane Lions Management Career Series. Here today we've got a match against the Adelaide Crows and our top 8 contention is in jeopardy. So if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. Unfortunately, Jack Gunston is out with a syndesmosis injury, so he is going to be out for a fair few weeks now. And uh, we're about to get stuck into the Crows here today. And we need to try and pick up as many points as we can. Now, if you guys have been watching the last couple of episodes, you, you would know uh, over the last couple of days and weeks, our form has been absolutely terrible. So apparently, uh, um, this week, they broke the game <laughs> and... The rate of marking and spoiling ability went incredibly low. So a lot of those games, even when I was perfectly timing the spoil and the marks, it was literally impossible to uh, to to mark <laughs> or win those contests. So going forward now, what I've been testing, the gameplay is still a lot smarter. However, the rate of marking and spoiling um, is now acceptable. So let's get stuck into the Crows. McCluggage with an absolute screamer there. In the second quarter now, we are six points down. The Crows are a goal ahead. We've managed to find Josh Dunkley here in the forward line away in Adelaide. And here's an opportunity now to tie up the scoring here. And he does straight through the big six. And they're constantly changing this game <laughs> that's why so although we did win some of those games our win loss ratio went down by like 70 percent or so so hopefully we can claw back here against the crows and then ultimately make the top eight and finals starsevic goes forward with the automatic interchange on and to take the lead 25 meters out for the lions he shoots he scores and does. There's a little bit of a kit clash here, but uh, it should be okay. Now it's going to be really interesting to see, since we had so many losses this year, will we be able to come back after winning the Premiership last year and the minor? Uh, top 8 is still technically, mathematically a possibility, but it is looking ever so unlikely um, depending on the results here so as we go into half time we're drawing third quarter now both sides looking to try and win this one brilliant spoil there by Rich he gets the follow up tackle Estes the draftee comes in and they hit it from the 50 there I think they're going to reduce those running goals like that because they're just way too accurate at the moment 19-13, the Crows by a goal. McInerney hits it from the 45. And now that it's not as kick-to-kick -kick as it was, they are a lot more accurate. Unfortunately, the big O there um, still put it wide. The Crows trying to bring it out from the back. Brilliant interception by Danaher. He gets it to McCarthy and drills it between the big sticks. The former Cat with a special goal with the Lions. It's tit for tack here. At the moment, it's going to be a close match. Third quarter still. Lions by a point. Lions, the former Gold Coast Sun, handballs it to Rayner. He can't get it out, and it's going to go to a contest. Ball up. The big O in the ruck. Wins it. Only as far as Neil. Chocky Neil sinks it between the two sticks, and the Lions go up by a goal. A technically brilliant midfielder. He's got a good kick as well. Third quarter still. Lions by one. Simkin. What a trade he has been. Obviously finds Berry and then Cameron in the end of it. Cameron trying to fire it into the goal square. Hipwood with the Specky. And I believe they put the uh, rate of Speckies up as well. So I'm going to be doing a lot of them in this career series as it is such an effective marking technique and the Lions to go two goals up Hipwood the ball slightly deviates to the right but it's okay as Hipwood puts his name on the score sheet
Dunkley goes to ground. The Crows still in contention of this match. McInerney wins it. Only as far as Neil. Firing it to the top of the goal square. Lions are plenty there. And big bad Ben King gets the mark. He plays on and slots it between the big sticks. It's a three goal game here away at the Adelaide Oval. And the 22, 23 year old is going to be at the Lions for the next, what, eight, nine years? What a trade he has been. Some people wanted me to sign Max. We went with Ben. Fourth quarter now. Lions by three. The Crows trying to get back. It is great to see how, like, attacking the AI is now. They're still a lot more creative. But if you can time those marks there, you can quite often win those contests. Now, unfortunately, a pretty nice piece of defensive display there by the Lions. But it just ultimately spilled out to a, a beautiful Crows goal in the end. They hit it from the 45. And when it spoils and bounces around like that, nine times out of ten, the AI is going to score. Two goal games, still super pretty close. The Lions nearly win the contest here. The Crows fire it to Estes, and unfortunately he couldn't get the mark. The Lions have looked the better of the two sides in this match, but the Crows are having a resurgence here in the fourth, chipping it around. An opportunity here on the 45 on a slight angle to bring it back within a one goal game. And they sink it as well. There is still plenty of time for the Crows to come back and the Lions to extend their lead. It's a seven goal point game here now and Rainer marks in midfield. The Lions try to play it on quickly. Unfortunately, it gets smothered. Coleman has to come up, hits the spoil. It falls to a Crows player who gets tackled and then he hits it from the full 30. And it's a point game now. <laughs> Rayner can't get to it. The Crows go again. McCarthy on the mark. They sidewardsly hit it, trying to open up some space. As the Crows hit it into the 50, Ainsworth needs to spoil. And unfortunately, the Crows mark it in the pocket exactly where they won a game a couple years ago against Port Adelaide. A goal to win, a point to draw, and he sinks it as well. And unfortunately... We go down in the last 20 seconds here of this match. And this is probably our finals campaign over. As a massive loss here against the Crows is going to sink us even further and further. So even with the brand new update to make the games easier, sometimes footy is decided by a goal or a kick here and there. And unfortunately, we lose to the Crows. Looking at the worm, we were winning a lot of this match. But unfortunately, we couldn't get over the line. Moving on now to a match against Melbourne at the... I don't even know uh, where this is exactly. Where is Trio Traeger Park? I think that's what it's called. Is it... Maybe it's Queensland or Darwin? I actually don't know. Ah, the Northern Territory. Interesting. As Rayner hits it from the 45 and sinks it between the big sticks. So it's in Darwin in the uh, Northern Territory. Well, it's in the Northern Territory. I don't know if it's necessarily in Darwin. But Melbourne, going to have a hard time in the heat. Us Queenslanders are probably going to have a better time. Uh, we've probably got a fair few players that are from the Northern Territory as well. I think Zach Bailey is from around that neck of the woods. But we start off the scoring early in the first quarter. Berry picks it up, hits it in, trying to find Ben King. And there's a lot of players there that eventually get spoiled to the former Territorian, now Queenslander through and through. Zach Bailey puts his name on the score sheet. And it's a two-goal game here against Melbourne. Probably should have changed up the kits, but it's technically counting as a home fixture for Melbourne, but we are ploughing away through their defence as the football gets spilled quite a bit in this night fixture in the Territory. And Joe Danaher surges forward to try and keep our finals campaign alive. But hey, depending on how well we do, I guess the lower, we do get draft picks as they've added that now, but they are constantly 
updating this game. <laughs> Constantly doing changes, which I think it's okay. I actually don't mind it. F like, I could stop until it becomes more stable, but I think it's kind of um, good for the series. Like, you don't know if the AI is going to be incredibly overpowered, easy, or just in that normal range on the hardest difficulty. So, it uh, it's going to throw out the ladder quite a bit throughout these career seasons. But we've sort of fallen off a bit as premiers, and we're going to need a massive resurgence to come back if we are to make finals. So only time will tell where this career series ends up. But at the moment, we're putting on a really decent performance here. A lot of pressure, a lot of high-octane energy against Melbourne and Darwin. They are really succumbing to the heat by the look of it as knock Lockie Neal just inside the 45 hits five goals for the Lions and we go even further in front. We're putting on a pretty good performance here today showing that if we do get to finals that we can run through and beat some of the higher opposition teams but at the moment we are just dominating the midfield and every time we go into our forward 50 we manage to convert. But Melbourne just look a little bit shell-shocked in this one. They're having a pretty decent season. Also, I think they've increased handball accuracy as well. As a nice over-the-top handball goes from Simpkin. Uh, and Bailey hits another one on the score sheet. And that's probably our biggest goal-scoring effort in a first quarter. We've hit six goals back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back there, <laughs> which is... Uh, Really, really good stuff to see. And uh, once again, we're just nearly getting it out of our midfield cleanly again. Gardner comes up with an amazing interception. Unfortunately, I played on there trying to get it out. And now Melbourne have an opportunity getting into their forward 50. And Ben Brown outmarks a missed placed uh, James Sicily. And to get their first goal of the game here in the Northern Territory. Big Ben Grant Brown scores the first goal for the Melbourne Demons in the Territory. And we're going into quarter time with a five-point lead. Uh, tactics are still around the corner as well for kick out and forwards. So at the time of recording, um, we don't have those. But it's a five-goal game here going into the second quarter. McInerney wins the ruck contest. Melbourne with a decent clearance. Petrarca ends up finding someone. They're trying to find the target of Ben Brown. And unfortunately, again, this time, our defence is slightly out of position. And I kind of wish that Ben Brown had his unique <laughs> run-up. He's going to hit it from the 50 and convert this one straight down the middle and between the big sticks. Brilliant kick of the footy. Ben Brown. My Tasmanian uh, brethren. And we go again. Melbourne doing well. Leicester wins this one. Good mark for the Ds. And they're starting to slowly chip away. A bit of massive specky there by Gardner. Gets the mark. Second quarter. Lions go forward here. Cameron hits it to Hipwood. And we've caught them on the overlap here. And Bailey is going to play on quickly for his third. And that's five goals for the Lions. In front. McInerney, unfortunately, couldn't win it. Grundy, it somehow falls to Dunkley. He gets a good handball to Simpkin, who just gets chopped down. And I was about to say, if they didn't call that as an incorrect disposal, <laughs> I don't know what was. And the ball goes in again here. Ben Brown spoils it. Berry gets outmarked. Really bad handball in the end. Coleman running around in circles. Somehow Bailey Fritch gets it, turns, pivots, and hits. And now it's a six-goal game here here in Darwin. They are playing a little bit better in this second term. But if we can somehow reclaim and rekindle that forward line pressure we had in the first quarter... We should be in good stead. But unfortunately here, we're just losing the midfield duel. And Melbourne are linking a couple of good handballs together. That was probably nearly a incorrect disposal. But it gets turned again. And Melbourne have four for this match. Ben Brown sinking another. Um, I have mentioned this on the channel. But uh, I actually went to school with Ben Brown. <laughs> he was only one or two years uh, older than me. I didn't have much to do with him. But I just went to school with him. Um... 
Also, uh, Alex Pierce, the uh, Fremantle captain, is actually my cousin. <laughs> Distant, but uh, and I play a lot of school footy with him as well. But yeah, I, I've mentioned it on the channel before, but it's not that hard because Tasmanians, a lot of Tasmanians have connections and know people because it's just such a small place. But Rainer gets one back, and uh, we're four goals in front in this third term. McInerney can't win the ruck contest. Melbourne are playing some good footy here. They're just dominating. They've restructured the midfield and our defence just looks a little bit out of it. Cozzy Pickett now, only as far as Sicily, who gets dropped in the end. And it's a four goal game. We go again here now. Grundy in the ruck. McInerney wins it. And we somehow get a little bit of breathing room here as the ball comes flying in from Simkin. Really underrated trade he has been. He's been so good. Another interception fires it in. He's just really helped out that midfield because we obviously are still missing Mitch Robinson to some extent. Obviously, Dunkley's now come in. He's had one season under his belt. And then we've got to make plans and preparations for the eventual retiring of uh, Lockie Neal, which is kind of a bit of a... A shame. I wonder, I wonder what's going to happen in real life. Will he spend the rest of his career? He signed a pretty big contract, but I don't know. Contracts don't really mean anything these days in the world of footy. If players want to go, they, they should be able to move. And I, I think clubs, um, even if that happens, like Frio, like legitimately, if he gets, I don't know, 30, 31, Lockie, um, if Frio wanted him, um, I wouldn't, even though he signed a big contract, I wouldn't be unsurprised if he was to go uh, back there at some point to have a quieter life or maybe to extend him maybe playing at Brisbane and how it, it, it largely just depends on if Brisbane in real life uh, win a flag but in this third term we've managed to come back here slightly it's a six goal lead 60-24 10 for the Lions 4 for the Melbourne Football Club and both sides are really showing off when they do get into their forward 50s that they're actually converting uh, clearly Unfortunately, we got held there for holding the ball, and the D's try to come back for their fifth. Fourth quarter now. Leicester now goes forward, hits it to the slight right of the goal square, and Ben King gets this one. And if he sinks this, it's probably a little bit too late for any formidable Melbourne attack to allow uh, Melbourne to take the lead. And the Brisbane Lions are probably going to wrap this one up here in the Territory. 30 seconds remaining, six goal game, ball up, McInerney wins it, Dunkley gets onto it, McInerney again, Simpkin hits it from the 50 and it looks like the Melbourne defence has capitulated, had to handball, nearly ran over the line there with Hipwood, Hipwood and that's number 12 and we have just been so, so clinical in front of goal. The Lions putting on a tremendous performance here today. There might be a late goal here from Melbourne as he gets bombed into Ben Brown. And he's going to hit it from the 50. Into an open goal square. And for some reason he didn't mark Fritsch and just allowed it to go through. But thankfully, our basically scoring ability, not so much our defence held up. We conceded a fair few to Melbourne. Probably more than what we should have. But... We managed to outscore the opposition, which has been the story of this career series. The Lions leading for all four quarters. Here are the stats. There's the worm. And I'm curious to see the best on ground. So Neil, 16. I, I would have thought Simkin would have had more. Bailey with three, Ben King with two, Ben Brown with four, Fritch with just the one. Well, unfortunately on that note, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for Season 2, Episode 8 of this Brisbane Lions Management Career Series coming the, out the exact same time tomorrow. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. All that good stuff. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. If you want to see more from me, check out the videos on screen. My name is Ben Simsey, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.